course they want to do this while I'm trying to film. This Alrighty, let's just, just jump into this video because I, this is my second time filming this video. <laughs> Crazy friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Monet, otherwise known as Taylor for some of you guys. Um, I've decided to change my name if you guys haven't noticed it lately. But um, anywho, in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my skincare routine because a lot of people have been asking me lately, um, how do I get this like dewy look? And I know I've said it in a couple of my vlogs in the past, um, which one will be posted up this Friday. So you guys will actually get two videos this week to keep myself get myself caught up basically but um yeah since so many people have been asking me um how i keep my skin so clear and clean and whatnot it's like spring but mother nature doesn't know what she really wants to do okay also if you guys hear any noise it's probably my neighbor that you hear me down underneath me anywho let's just jump right into the video um if you do enjoy this video do please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can see more of me and let's just get right into the video um, so actually there is one product I forgot, so BRB, we are back. Okay, so first item that I end up using um, every single morning is my makeup wipe removers. Um, this is just the knockoff, actually it's not even the knockoff, it's the Neutrogena brand. I actually use these more than actually washing my face and I'll get into why I um, do that in a second. Um, but yeah, I just take one to two of these, wipe my makeup off. Um, wipe my morning like drool whatever the case may be um, I wipe this off every single morning with these and night um, and then as far as the actual cleansing products that I use um, I don't really wash my face every single day I was actually talking to my trainer last year and she said that she was talking to a dermatologist and for her she found out that her washing her face twice a day is actually drying her face out so I was like, maybe that's my case too, because I don't know, like I was trying to wash it every single day and it was breaking out. Um, but recently, lately, if you guys can see, I don't have any um, bumps on my face, like not even like up here. It's like really, really like less. I'm not really stressed like I usually am. Um, I've gotten to the point now where I just literally wash my face just the once a day. Um, whether it's in the shower or first thing in the morning when I get up. That's like the only time I wash my face. And then I, like I said, I use these at night. So, um, but like I was saying, so my trainer said that her dermatologist said that she should only wash her face once a day, which is once in the morning or what, yeah, I would say once in the morning because if you do it once at night, then that's just gross not washing your face first thing in the morning. So I think it's been a whole year since I've seen my trainer. So I think that's what her dermatologist said. Um, so that's what I started doing since last year. And since then, my face has cleared up tremendously. Not that I'm gluten or dairy free, but I, for some reason, I think I'm lactose intolerant. So I don't eat a lot of dairy products. Um, I drink water religiously all throughout the day. I only drink like one soda a day. If I even drink a soda a day, I'm trying to really get back to like not drinking any sodas at all. It is almost my time of the month. I'm actually waiting for Mother Nature to do her thing. Oh, hello. I'm waiting for Mother Nature to do her thing. Um, so I only had this one pop up like a couple weeks ago, um, hormonal wise beforehand, but that was the only one. And I know the last month I only had like one pimple that popped up on my face. And usually I have quite more. So I was kind of happy that um, I only had that one. As far as products go, I use the CeraVe, I think that's how you say it, um, skincare line. I know a lot of people can't use that, but that's what works best for me now. Um, I know back in like 2012 or 13 when I first filmed my skincare routine. I don't think I've done an updated one since then, but that was the last one that I can remember off the top of my head. Um, I was using Clean and Clear then. Well, Clean and Clear doesn't work for me anymore. And then um, I think like three years ago, I started using um, Mary Kay products. Well, Mary Kay is a little expensive. I can't keep buying that every single time I run out of stuff. So I needed like a drugstore product thing that could work. Um, so. Me and my mom were on TikTok one day, I think, or she was on TikTok, and she ended up sending me a video clip of something that somebody recommended dermatologist-wise. So I ended up picking up these things. First off, I have the uh, CeraVe Foaming Cleanser, Facial Cleanser. It's for normal to oily skin. Um, I tend to use this one 
um, every now and then in the shower, not as much because this one is still really full. Um, but it cleanses and removes oil without disturbing the protective skin barrier. Um, it works really, really well. And then days that, like in the mornings when I wash my face after using one of these bad boys, I use the Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, again, this does the exact same thing. Um, they all have hyaluric, hydroluric acid. I'm probably not saying that correctly. Um, and then they have like three essentials, whatever that word is. Like these words are so difficult. <laughs> But um, yeah, I use this um, mostly in the mornings, um, more so than anything. And then I use this bad boy, which I actually need to buy some this weekend. Um, I use this one, as you guys have probably seen before. I don't know if I've put it in vlogs or not, but I use this one every single day. This is their Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. Um, this actually works miracles for me. I live by it religiously. Like, if anybody has ever had an acne problem, this is, this is the, the product right here that I give them, that I told them about, because it clears acne pimples and blackheads, prevents uh, new acne and allows skin to heal. And it also maintains the skin barrier and leaves skin feeling comfortable, which it does. So I tend to use this more so when it's my time of the month. Um, but if I start to notice that anything's popping up on my face, I really use this at like every single day when I'm in the shower. If not, I end up using this one when I'm in the shower. Um, and then when I get out of the shower or after I'm done washing my face, um, sometimes I will go in and use this right here. Pro this product is just like a um, vitamin C serum basically that I just put the few little droplets um, on my face and then I, you know, put that in. But sometimes I don't really use this as much because it's already in this and then I also have it in these two items as well. So this one doesn't really get to use, get used as much, but I got this from Dollar Tree for like $1.25. Um, I'm pretty sure they still have them. And then I also like to go in with my Mary Kay Age um, Minimize 3D Cream. You guys have used, seen me use this plenty of times before in my get ready, I think. And I just, you know, pat it underneath my eyes right here and we're good to go. Um, but then at nighttime, or actually I'll start with the daytime. So daytime, I use the AM um, Facial Moisturizer. I like using this because it has SPF 30 in it. And I know some people are probably gonna kill me and say that I should put more SPF on than this one. Um, but this is the only one that I end up putting on as far as SPF goes. But when I was in Cancun, I did actually put more SPF on than just this one. Um, but I like that this is oil free. Um, it has sunscreen in it. It moisturizes the skin throughout the day and helps prevent or excuse me, and helps restore the protective skin barrier, which all of these products keep saying over and over again. But I use this during the day, and then at night, I use their PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, um, which I wonder if I should start using this during the day sometimes too, but I don't, just because it is their PM one. But this one is kind of like using a uh, serum to me almost, just because of the way that it feels. But that's basically, um, what I use at night after I take up my makeup off. And then I, you know, even sometimes I will go in with this if I really didn't feel like makeup wipes worked really well um, to clear this makeup off even more. But lately I have not been really wearing a whole lot of makeup. Like I said, I've just been putting on um, blush, highlighter, and mascara and calling it a day. And now if I get my pictures done like I did last weekend, then I will do a full face of makeup. But lately I haven't been really doing a full face of makeup. And I'm wondering if that also has to play into as to why I haven't been really breaking out like I usually do. Um, but in my one vlog, my face, I had it done up really nicely and I didn't break out, so I don't know. But anyhow, that is all of the products though and the way that I uh, basically do my skincare every single day, um, my skincare regimen. It's nothing really crazy. Um, it's like a two or three step thing. I don't really have like a 10 step like a lot of people do. I'm trying to get into it more. Um, I do will say, um, before I forget, I do put on eye patches um, in the mornings, uh, which I didn't put those in, but I will add like a little clip of it, of the video, of them in the video. Um, and then I also um, sometimes will do a face mask every now and then, depending on which one I have. Like right now, I think I have one that's a firming one. I just haven't used it yet. And um, I'm trying to think of something else that I end up using. 
but that's pretty much it um but yeah like i said that's pretty much my skincare i don't have a lot that goes into things like a lot of people do um and this may work for some people it may not but if you are willing to try this let me know if you do um work try it out and let me know in the comments down below i would love to know if it works out for you or not like it did for me um if you did enjoy this video do please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and you can see more of me and i'll see you guys in my next video